I have not found a neighbor who thinks that this is a good idea. Please vote no. This is a bad company. They don't have integrity. Thank you, ma'am. They exploit animals. They exploit workers. They're exploiting you, and they're exploiting Officer. all of us in Franklin. Uh, don't let me. Thank you. No, folks. Really, come on. I say let's stop the Strauss slaughterhouse and create business or businesses that are innovative, forward-thinking, and will make Franklin and the state of Wisconsin proud. Think about this emotional and psychological effect on the growing kids when they see animals are brought to slaughter. We would like to teach our kids to be gentle and not provide them an environment of violence, fear, and death. I've heard the word transparency and integrity. Each of you need to start showing that and stop letting this man bully you around. Vote for the people, your public servants. Imagine being within a facility where you're committing slaughter daily. That is your job, is to kill animals. This does have a mental effect on people, and they do become numb to, the, to it over time. I just encourage you to look at these studies and just take that into consideration. I don't want to see these trucks of baby cows on their way to be slaughtered. I know that we're pretty much just here to hear the good stuff, but my job isn't just here to hear the good stuff. And I think it's important that we get even pull back the curtain and talk about the things that could happen. We are not here to sell this project for them. They are supposed to sell it to you. They're supposed to sell it to us. There's been a lot of information that was given here tonight that you as the public didn't get to vet. I didn't get to vet it. But what is really before us? Is it jobs? Is it taxes? They had one woman told me, I don't care, raise my taxes. I don't want to live in a community with a slaughterhouse. Alder woman, you've talked all night. Give somebody else a I chance. I just said a question. No, uh, hold on. That's enough. You guys just can't get it through your heads. We got business to do tonight. We understand you don't want it. I get it. So we're gonna do but it you anyway. gotta listen to other people. Treat other people with respect. You're not. You are not. Officer, get them out. You're passionate about it. I get it. I understand. You don't want us to eat meat. I get it. No, sir. Sorry. We're not taking it. I get it. I understand. You don't want this. I get it. But the seven of us are supposed to detach ourselves from the emotion and do what's right for 36,000, not, not the people that are jumping up and down. A reasonable person would say, makes sense. Alderwoman Wilhelm, I listened to you for 45 minutes. I'm not slamming my fist on the counter. You can afford to listen to me. I'm passionate about this. I heard from people from Chicago and San Francisco, all of them trying to tell me what was good for my community. I worked for you people since 1998. Marcelino, you've been here for five years. I think I know what's going on in this community. You guys, you gotta be reasonable people and you're not. You are not reasonable people. So that's my rant. Alderman Dandria. Hi. Alderman Mayer. No. Alderwoman Wilhelm. No. Alderwoman Hanneman. No. Alderman Barber. <laughs> Alderman Barber. Yes. Alderman Nelson. No. <laughs> I said, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Okay. Please. I get it, but don't do that, please, out of respect. 